Hello from the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. I'm Ryan Paparello, Safety and Health Specialist here at the Fund. Today I want to discuss heat illness and how to protect yourself when working in the heat. Workers exposed to extreme heat or performing work in hot environments may be at risk of experiencing heat stress. Heat stress is the combination of a worker's exposure to heat from physical activity, environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, wind, and even clothing. Wearing certain types of personal protective equipment and clothing can also increase your overall heat load and can increase your risk for heat-related illnesses. Construction workers in asphalt, paving, and roofing are more at risk of heat-related illnesses. The spring and summer months bring higher temperatures, increased humidity, and less moisture in the air. Our core body temperature must be maintained within 2 degrees of normal or about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit in order to continue to function normally. Heat stress can result in heat stroke, heat illness, fainting, heat cramps, and heat rashes. Ways to protect yourself include water, rest, and shade. Drink a lot of cool water all day before you feel thirsty. You may need a cup of water every 15 minutes in high heat conditions. Wear light color clothing. Dark colors absorb and hold more heat than white or light colors. Seek out shade during rest breaks. Take breaks when you feel the symptoms of heat illness. Know the symptoms of heat illness, which include headache, nausea, dizziness, weakness, irritability, thirst, heavy sweating, and elevated body temperature. If you travel to a warm area for a new job, your body needs time to get used to the heat. This is known as acclimatization. Be extra careful the first, first two weeks on the job. If you work in heavy or protective clothing, you may need more rest breaks. You may also need to monitor your temperature and pay attention to your heart rate. Avoid alcohol and drugs during high heat conditions. These substances contribute to dehydration. Your employer can help as well. They can allow workers to take rest breaks early and often during high heat conditions. They can set up shaded and or cold rest break areas. Allow the use of fans. Schedule the heaviest work during the coolest time of the day, typically in the morning. Or start work shifts early in the morning and less shifts end earlier in the day during high heat conditions. For heavy work in hot areas, rotate workers to allow time to rest and cool down. For more information on heat stress and how to stay safe in the heat, check out the fund's website in the description below.